Hi guys, I'm Dr. Gabrielle Lyon here with my longtime mentor, who you all should know at this point, Dr. Donald Lehman. And if you like this video, please like it and share it. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter on my website at drgabriellelyon.com. One of the, the next topics that I think is incredible to discuss would really be the, the perspective of there's that fat centric approach, you know, obesity week and and everybody focuses, you know, obesity medicine is largely adipose tissue focused, all about fat tissue. There's very few people talking about the muscle as the primary site or the primary issue as really the solution. And, you know, I'm just curious as to why you think that is, why the dogma of fat centric continues and why that becomes the focus and, you know, perhaps how insulin resistance, you know, fat tissue, that kind of story. I mean, you know, just because you've been in the literature for so many decades. That's a really good question. And I honestly don't have a great answer for that. <laughs> um, to some extent, muscle is harder to study than adipose tissue. And why uh, is that? I mean, listen, at Wash U, I did biopsies of both, 4.30 in the morning when we did those euglycemic clamps. Yeah. Um, Muscle, because of all the myofibular protein, um, I mean, and you could argue fat because of all the fat makes it difficult to study. So I guess they're both kind of difficult. Um, I think in medicine, we're kind of hooked on studying pathology. People want to have medicines and they want to have drugs and, and things to make a symptom less, where muscle means you have to kind of put into work to basically be healthy. Uh, and That's an interesting perspective. It, I mean, it, it does, it does it, much it, more it energy. It simply be that it's a lazy approach to medicine. <laughs> well, you know, actually, I hadn't thought about it in that way before. Muscle is obviously focusing on the solution, but I, I would say that our framework is really pathology-based, so that does make sense. Um, you know, it, it's interesting. It's just, I, I just find it interesting that the story remains fat centric. And it's, it's really a mistake because while adipose tissue is a problem and inflammatory and oncogenic, yeah. it is not the primary issue. So it doesn't come first. You know, everything goes to the muscle. The body tries to dispose of this glucose. Glucose goes to the muscle. Then you have exercising muscle. You know, that, that really comes first first because when the muscle can no longer uptake any more glucose or perhaps it's unhealthy or you're sedentary, then you're talking about repackaging in the liver and disposing of, being, you know, disposing of glucose, disposing of things. And then now you're talking about adipose tissue. So just an interesting concept when we think about solutions. And perhaps that's why the recidivism rate, the relapse rate of obesity is so high is that we've got the model wrong. Yeah. I one of the things I always think about about the adipose research is brown fat. Brown fat is the hottest topic going about every 10 years. <laughs> I mean, I remember back in the 70s, it was the hottest topic ever. It was going to cure everything with uncoupling proteins, mm. and it faded out. And 10 years later, it reappeared and faded out. And 10 years, and now it's sort of reappearing. You no, know, it's, it's interesting, like, though. In, in clinic, not to interrupt you, but in clinic, there is a medication that I do use. It's off-label use. It's called Amlexinox. And it's a TBK1 inhibitor. But it, you know, part of what its mechanism of action is, is that it helps with the browning of fat. So yeah. it's interesting. Um, it's I interesting mean, that that's a It's research. a theory that keeps surfacing and it never really goes very far. I mean, it, never hasn't died. Cured, <laughs> it hasn't cured anything in 40 years, but it's still around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. It, it, it's also interesting with all the confusion out in the literature. Um, you know, if people want to age well and they want to fix the obesity issue, it really has to be muscle targeted. It has to be muscle centric. Yeah. And if individuals like the people watching this continue to adopt a muscle centric view, I think that we can change the world. Yeah. We can we, then move the needle for people. We did an experiment that I way back early eighties that I thought was phenomenal where we basically, <laughs> we basically uh, labeled uh, chylomicrons mm -hmm. and we did this in, in rats for obvious reasons. 
but we basically labeled chylomicrons and then we looked at where the fat went. And one of the things we found was the KM was that the heart, which is constantly beating, constantly using energy, had the first choice. So it, the LPL there was the highest. Then muscle took it second, and adipose only took it third. And to me, that was one of the huge aha moments is that adipose is only the last resort of where you have to stick energy mm. when everything else is full. And so that meant, made me realize that muscle was the key tissue. We have to tailor our calorie needs associated with muscle. And fat is really kind of irrelevant. It's the last resort of where you stick it when you made mistakes. Wow. I mean, you did that in the early 80s. Yeah. So I mean, I thought it was a phenomenal experiment. It got some you know, attention, but it, it basically says adipose is just not the primary tissue. Adipose is a secondary tissue where we store energy. It doesn't drive anything. Right. You know, it's, uh, it's, I think, important. And the more, you know, maybe there'll be a resurgence of this concept. I, you know, I don't know. It, it just seems like only a few of us are really talking about it. Um, but anyway, uh, really interesting in the concept of muscle-centric medicine. If you guys like this video, please share it, subscribe to my newsletter, um, and go to my website.